let's move our attention now to role definition a uh, role definition is nothing but the collection of permissions okay that's why what is common between the permission and the role definition it is the list of the permissions which is scoped in action not action data action and not data action okay so this is part of the role definition a part of this what do we have in role definition we have type which is always microsoft dot authorization slash role definition we have description about that particular role because not only the by default roles we have we can also create our custom roles so there we can provide the description why this role is and for whom this role is then we have a role definition name then we have a role definition id is custom true and false which are the inbuilt roles will always be is custom false and if you are creating a custom role then it will be is custom true then the assignable scope this is different than the role assignment assignable scope which is management group subscription resource and group here we are talking about this particular role offers to assign himself to any of the user or identity on these particular labels that means on this particular subscription two subscription network resource group one management group or management group or subscription or all the labels by default a role is in general if you see all the roles are on this all scope that is slash that's why if i go to a particular role here you see assignable scope is slash okay slash means this particular scope instead of this it can be a particular subscription maybe two subscriptions or a network resource group or a management group as well okay so here we understood this particular thing then we have the role name we have description as we have just seen we have description role name role id and here i want to just uh, showcase you that there are two different kind of access controls in azure one is the microsoft entra roles and second is the azure roles currently what we are talking about which is in iam is all the azure roles okay and what is then microsoft entra roles these are the roles that controls the microsoft entra if i just go here portal.azure.com again to keep another tab open i'm going to microsoft entra id so here you can see we have roles and administrator here you can see a different set of roles okay these are totally different set of roles than the roles those are offered in the iam okay if i'm going here these are totally different roles so if the roles are in the microsoft entra id those roles are the microsoft entra roles and what is the difference between these two roles azure roles can manage the azure resources whereas the microsoft entra roles can manage only the microsoft entra resources that is everything related to the microsoft entra second both supports the custom role so we can create custom roles for microsoft entra as well as for the azure roles the scope can be specified at multiple levels management group subscription resource or resource group level and here the scope can be specified at the tenant level that is organization wide administrative unit or a individual object for example a specific application okay application that means we are talking about the applications that are created in the microsoft entra if i go here you can see the um, applications so everything and everything that is related to this application will be in the application scope and that will be controlled using the microsoft entra roles this is nothing but the microsoft entra roles and here if you see 
in the Azure IAM access control that is the Azure roles. There are few privileged roles. So if you see the privileged roles, contributor, owner, reservation administrator and role based access control administrator. So these are the privileged roles and here the built in roles are a list. There are many built in roles that we can go through. Okay, so coming back to the role definitions right now, we have just seen how do we see the roles inside the Azure dashboard that is access control IAM. Let's see these particular role definition list inside the uh, VS code. Okay, so if I want to see a role definition, then I'll do AZ role definition list minus o table this will give you a very big list of roles okay which are offered by the azure so you can go through these roles but this is a very big list so how many roles do we have in total so for that we can just do az role list minus minus query length and at the rate so right now at this specific time, we have 631 roles in Azure. Those are offered to assign to a particular user or a particular identity. Okay. So now if I want to get a roles related to a specific resource, because it, it's a big list and I want specific roles related to a particular resource. So what I can do is I can list roles related to storage account. So what I'm doing is uh, AZ role definition list, which is the same command, but now I'm adding the query here and I'm saying which contains storage. So I want to see all the roles which offer storage. And then I'm just segregating the JSON into a table structure where I'm calling role name type, role type, data action length and action length. Okay. So now I have the list, which is a role list related to the storage account. So these are the roles related to storage account. And in that we have the data actions, these many and the action length here. So just by this particular command, you will understand whether to give any particular role, which includes data action to a user or not. Okay. So this is how you can be very smart while assigning a role. Likewise, if I want to understand what are the roles offered for Kubernetes, you can just create your own queries just like this. Okay. Just replace the word that a particular resource group that you are interested in and just create your own query. So for Azure Kubernetes service, these are the roles offered. Okay. And out of that, only few roles have the data actions into it. Okay. So I should always be very caution to give these particular four roles to a user because they'll be able to access the real data inside the Kubernetes cluster.